side. Potentially is that it will reflect the 11 versus 11, but it's obviously going to be with 18 players. So both teams will effectively be representing 4-3-3. Just going to take out one of the centre halves. Come on, take your side. And the number four stroke holding midfielder for both sides. So effectively, it's going to create evenness all over the field. some degree of unevenness in that number this type of track explodes. It sounds big kind of sure it is it might not play out that way but that's the intention. Um, I guess um, a few things. The first one is as much as possible the pitch is going to be narrow so I want us to focus on playing forwards. Yeah. Playing forwards is going to be hard because you match it up man for man. So I'm going to ask the players to trust in me that it's okay if it doesn't go right, whatever that looks like, but to commit to playing forward. Although what will be some of the ways that the practice will be designed will hopefully provide the opportunity set up to be able to play forward. The second thing is, I'm guessing, I don't know, but I'm guessing some of you might work with younger players, you might work with smaller numbers of players. 18 is quite a nice commerce uh, number to work with. I think the principle of this practice works with K6. I think it was 10 this morning. Um, the principles of it stay the same. We play two versus two in the middle. We play one versus one at each end. And we had a goalkeeper at either end. So, principles of the practice even with some degree of representation of the system when you've got fewer numbers. Okay, so gentlemen, I don't know you at all and I apologise once for that and that is now I apologise. Um, the yellows, these are effectively three defenders. You can see them as three centre halves or a right back, a centre back and a left back. Three forwards, right forward, centre forward, left forward. A match up with two eights and tens in the field, two more advanced midfielders. And it gets the reverse of what you've got there, there with a goalkeeper at either end. So where are my goalkeepers? Name sir. Oliver. 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 The game will flow and be fluid, so if you feel like you're back there, it's not the end of the world, you will end up in more advanced positions. A couple of oranges there if you're short on one. Okay, if you feel you're wildly out of position, no problem. We're going to play three separate games, so maybe from game to game we can switch who plays where. Okay? Any questions? Just while you're here, just for the benefit of the gentlemen that are watching, if you could look out to the pitch, Obviously you'll see Oliver's goal is there and Adam's goal is there. The white cones are the side boundaries, so you can see the pitch is relatively narrow. Essentially that will carry the forward. The offside line is where at that end where the yellow cones are with the white in the middle, and then at that end is where the white cones where the yellow cone is in the middle. That will become apparent as the whites there, hopefully. Next week. Nice. 
I think, I think he's got a wide view on. I don't know. This is a wide view, but then I ain't going to do a wide view because I'm actually moving it on zooming in on the fucking play. It looks better zooming on the play, doesn't it? If, we go, if they go down there, I can't literally see anything, so I'll do that and zoom in with the ball. And zoom out just down there. Five balls gone, still nil nil. Go on, Sam. Get it. Fuck off, you are. Yeah, fine. Free kick yellows! Didn't get out of that box in one touch. Spot on play, Taylor. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Good! Take it, take it! Right, right. 